Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we have an amazing tool to share with you that will revolutionize the way you create videos. It's called FlexClip, a powerful online video editor that makes video creation a breeze. Whether you're a content creator, marketeer, or business owner, this tool will help you produce professional looking videos in no time. So let's dive right in. So first we're going to open web browser and as you can see on AppSumo, a lifetime deal of FlexClip is running. You can only spend $69 and get lifetime deal on FlexClip forever. No monthly subscription required, just pay $69 and you'll get FlexClip forever. So here is FlexClip Video Maker's official website. Before we get started, let me give you a quick introduction to FlexClip. It's an all-in-one online video editor that allows you to create stunning videos without any technical expertise. With its user-friendly interface and a wide range of editing features, FlexClip is a game changer for video content creation. So we are going to log into our account from here and we're going to continue using Google. So we're going to select our account. So as you can see guys, we have the homepage of FlexClip here. And as you can see, I have already made a project and it's saved in my recent pro projects. As you can see, I can save up to 12 projects, but if I upgrade my membership, then I will be able to save more. Actually, I'm on the free version here, as you can see. Let me expand it. We are at free, and we can upgrade it to plus or business. So as you can see, guys, we can purchase the plus membership, $6.99 per month, $83.91 built annually. And if we want the business package, $13.99 per month, $167.91 build annually. All right, so we can get 1080p full HD downloads. We can also get 1080p full HD downloads, 100 GB cloud storage, 30 GB cloud storage. And now let's go ahead and compare the uh, flex clip. So as you can see, we, can, we are only spending 69, not even 83 per one year, just 69 and it, we can have it forever. So let's go ahead and click on buy now. So I don't know what will happen if you purchase three, but if you purchase one, then you will get the plus membership. But if you choose two, then you will get the business package, which is $167.91 annually, but you're just going to pay $138 and you will get lifetime of this product. So we're going to get back to FlexClip here and we're going to get out of the pricing window and we are going to go to homepage. Now let's go ahead and explore the entire application. So we're going to create a video. You can select what kind of video you're trying to make. A 16 is to 9 for your PC, 9 is to 16 for your mobile phone if you're trying to make real or short videos, 1 is to 1 if you're making any content for your Facebook, 4 is to 5 if you're trying to make any content for something like this, already the interface is being shown, or 21 is to 9 if you're trying to make content for uh, widescreen mobile phones like normal today these days wide screen mobile phones are 21 is to 9 ratio display so if you're trying to make a video for widescreen mobile phones then this is the one uh, and you have two modes timeline mode well timeline mode is for professionals and storyboard mode is more simplified method here so if you store if you choose storyboard mode that'll be more simplified but if since I want to show you more features, that's why I'm choosing timeline mode and I'm going to choose 16 to 9 because I'm using a computer. So get started. All right, guys, we can import medias from here. So let's go ahead and import some media. I'm going to import the three images that are here. Selected wrong. All right, so here we go. We're going to import our medias here. Well, I don't think the import, uh, importing was successful. All right, we're gonna, just going to click on it and then select the images. So it was on desktop, selecting these images, and then we're going to open. So as you can see, guys, it's ready here. And if we want more, then we can do it. Let's go ahead, select local files. All right, let's select this one, just in case, because we need more contents. All right, so we have imported a few medias, including photos, three photos, and one videos, and no audios. So we're gonna get go with no audios at the moment, okay? So we have templates here, and these templates are for videos. They don't have. <laughs> So 
So I'm just gonna mute them uh, because they do have sound, but uh, you you gonna have problem listening to my voice. So that's why I'm gonna mute those. And let me just hear it out. And back to mute to go. Let's go ahead and select this one. I'm gonna add it add this scene to my timeline. I don't think the scene was added by me, so I'm just gonna delete it. And now let's go ahead and play back. All right, it looks pretty dope. And the logo will pop up like this. So I don't think that I should, I don't think I need this logo. So what if I want to change this logo? So what do I do to change the logo? Let's see if I can change the logo. So I'm going to media and then uh, I don't have a logo here. So I'm just gonna select his face and uh, use it as a logo. So let's go ahead and check out our timeline. Go back and go into the main timeline as you can see. All right, so the face should act like a logo as you can see you now that, that that ain't a logo, but it's doing the trick. Okay, so there we have it. If you want to change your logo and you want to place your own logo, you can just set it like this, and voila, it will be done. And if you want to add your own videos, let's go ahead and drag one in here. Apples are packed with antioxidants. All right, I'm just gonna mute the audio. So there we have it, but the transition was, there was no transition. So I'm just gonna add a beautiful transition so that it looks nice when uh, I'm changing scenery. As you can see, there are a lot of transitions that you can choose from. So let's choose a beautiful transition and, okay, this transition is selected then. Okay, now I'm gonna see how the transition works all oh, right this transition is working beautifully and you can just uh, sh shrink your timeline like this this okay so as you can see it's working properly after importing any template you can add media to it as of your wish and now let's go ahead to the text section and see what can we do with the texts we have modern titles uh, stylish text these are you can add stylish texts to your video if you want from here as you can see, I'm gonna add one here. All right, so we are gonna select this one, but it seems like that the previous, <laughs> the text was gone. I'm, I'm just dragging the background. So let's see if we want to drag the entire background here. All right, so now we can just edit the text. Modern, well, let's just type down the opposite of modern, old. Okay, so it's case sensitive. I'm gonna type down capital old. And then we have design, okay? The modern design I'm just gonna say old style and this time no capitalization okay so there we have it as you can see we have old style here I've added a text in my video you can add lots more texts and we have a lot of styles as you can see you can add these stylish texts to your video if you need we have social media texts as you can see Instagram YouTube TikTok, snapchat Pinterest and the subscribe button you can see you can click see all and there will be a lot more of texts for you and then we have wedding titles lower threads birthday titles at the broadcast packs I mean broadcast pack then we have minimal titles badge titles promo badge brush titles news titles background titles and the list goes on guys I don't know how longer it will go because it keeps refreshing so I'm not going anywhere else <laughs> there are a lot more you guys can you guys can explore it if you want because I'm already in the free free account so you won't even need to purchase in order to explore these okay so now I'm going to the subtitle as you can see you can auto uh, generate AI subtitles but we are gonna need to uh, upgrade our account in order to generate auto subtitles so we are gonna get back and we can add subtitles here by clicking on the add button as you can see from 0 to 5 we can add subtitles I'm just gonna type down this is a test subtitles alright this H shouldn't be a capital alright so there we have it this is a test subtitles and the subtitle will be in the video so let's go ahead and play back there we have it so subtitles and then the logo pops up and then uh, transitioning to our oh it stopped okay then transitioning to our video and then my text pops up All right so I don't want the text to pop up for like one whole minute so I'm just gonna edit it double click on the storyboard and then here is the text 
Now in order to edit the text we are going to drag it and make it only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 seconds. Okay, now we're going to get back. So let's go ahead and play the video. Play it. Alright, so as you can see, the text will be gone after 5 seconds. And it's gone. Alright, so we have learned how to insert text and we have learned how to insert subtitles. Now we are going to learn how to insert extra videos like stock videos that FlexClip is offering. Videos, photos, audio. So let's go ahead and start with videos. So there we have lots of stock videos for business, for background, for wedding, for abstract. There we have it. Holiday, finance. You can add any one that you want. So let's go ahead and try. I'm gonna go ahead and since this one is a documentary, more like documentary, if I need something that goes with documentaries, food, family, people, yeah, people might do, but that's too much people. Okay, so music, no, no, not music. Nature, fashion, education, social. Real estate, animals, oh, come on, health. All right, so an employee day, well, they, he is talking, she is talking about health though. So let's go and find something that's suitable to add here. Okay, now let's go ahead and add as scene. We can add a scene or we can add as layer. Let's go ahead and add it as layer. As you can see, the layer has been added here and it's currently loading. Give it a little time to load. Alright guys, so our uh, overlay has been loaded and we can drag it from here then where we want it. I'm just going to drag it a few blocks later so that after the text is gone, this layer pops up. Alright, so that, that goes too much far. It can be here. Now let's recheck. Okay, so there we have it and now we're going to right click and let's see what happens if we set it as background. All right, my entire video has been deleted. So we can't set it as background, okay? I thought it would just detect the human and then make sure that the video is not going background. The human will not go background. It makes the entire video go background. So that is what I don't want. So you can overlay any video if you want like this. So let's go ahead and add this as over. Oh, so overlay is already here. Okay, so as you can see, the text is here. So we can drag this one right beside the text. All right, how long are we gonna drag this? Okay, now it's a set. And since she's talking, I don't wanna disturb her. I'm just gonna put this overlay over here. So now let's play it. Right after the text is gone, this uh, video will start playing on the overlay and she will just keep talking. And as you can see, you can add a video to your video like this. And guys, you have lots of video options here, stock videos, about 5 million that they claim. Let me see how much stock videos they have. All right, some of the key uses, stock images. Let's go ahead. One stock video, five stock video, audio per project. Okay, so let's see on the basic plan. They are providing one stock video or audio per project, five stock video, audio per project. And then we have unlimited stock videos. All right, they have around, I'm pretty sure they have around 5 million stock video and audio and everything. You can just find the one that you are looking for and add it to your video. So after the video adding, we are going to go to photos. And as you can see, there are lots of lots of photos like this. We can add it as a scene or we can add it as overlay. So let's go ahead and select something and add it as, since I'm talking about apples here, let's add a photo of apple. Lots of apples are here. Okay. So we're going to add this one as overlay. Not that big. Let's just shrink it. Not shrinking. Oh, it's not added successfully. It will be 100%. Then we will be able to work with it. So we're going to have to wait patiently. Okay. Now it has been added. Okay, so now I'm going to drag it and make it a little smaller. And now she's talking, so I'm going to move the apple here. Now let's see. Alright, the video is uh, covering up my character, so uh, since when 
is the character being changed. Now let's see when the character is being changed. Okay. Okay, so right before the character will be changed, I'm gonna shorten the video duration. And now let's play back. Okay, so now we are gonna drag the apple here and place it on the right of the new character because now there will be no overlaying. Let's play now. Right, so it's working perfectly. Let's go ahead and shorten it. Now the sound is only for our first clip and the second clip just remains that way. Alright, so we have learned how to add videos, photos and audios to our video and there are lots of others that you want. You can just explore them. Music, sound effects, everything. So I'm just in the all section because I'm gonna need more, right? So then we have elements. From here you can add different elements in your videos like different shapes, uh, square, circle, and this is the rounded square shape. And we can add these elements too. Wow, these elements are really cool. As you can see, they're animating. Let's go ahead and add some elements here. I'm gonna add this element to my video, but not that much big. But that's something, you know, that this thing I don't like. Uh, why would it add the entire section for my entire clip, right? I don't want to add it in my entire clip. I just want a really short duration like this one so that I can add more later on. But no, the application just goes on and adds it for my entire clip. No, that's a bad thing for the application, I guess. Okay, so now I'm gonna add this one. Okay, this one gives us a cool painting design. Now I'm gonna have to shrink it again. This is really irritating, guys. I, I really don't enjoy shrinking it every time I add a thing in this video clip. I just want a shorter clip so that I can drag it and place it 5 to 10 seconds maybe. But the entire clip is of 1 minute. The entire clip is 1 minute and they're adding 1 minute to the entire clip. And you know, shrinking out 1 minute is not such an enjoying thing to do. As you see, I'm really irritated shrinking it every time that I'm adding a clip. So this thing should be fixed by them very soon. Alright, so I can resize it and reposition it as I want, as you can see. Now let's go ahead and play the video. Alright, these elements are working very nice. Animations. Alright, that's beautiful too. Okay, elements are gone now. Let's go ahead and try some overlays. Effect overlays, wow. Now, these overlays are for your uh, video, as you can see. We can uh, uh, apply many kinds of effect for our videos. So let's go ahead and... Uh, apply this one again with the full clip that's really irritating all right so i'm gonna add overlay for the last part of my video as you can see the overlay is uh, here oh well we have made a mistake as you can see the youtube logo is here and in this case the youtube logo shouldn't be on her face here okay so let me go ahead and shrink it all right, so it has been shrunk. Now let's go check. And where is my effective overlay? As you can see, the star is glowing, but um, you know it's not actually looking that much good because my entire background is bright and the star is not uh, showing up so well. As you can see now, the background is not so bright; it's colorful, so the star effect is uh, viewable. Well, that's nice. Okay, so that's how we can add overlays, and then we have background. And we can't add background for our video now because if we add background, then the entire uh, the background overlaps the entire video. And because since we haven't added so much things in the video, the background will be added despite of this video. And these things will be on the background. Okay, these things, these elements that we have added later will be on the background, but this video will be uh, removed. That's why I'm not using background. All right, guys. So since we have uh, explored the backgrounds. Now let's go ahead and explore what tools we have. As you can see, we have text to video, AI image generator, we have Giphy texts, we have branding, AI video script. All right, so we can uh, generate AI video scripts too. So let's uh, try out AI image generator, dolphin, 
playing chess? Let's see. Can you generate this? Now let's see how effective the AI image generator is. All right, so Dolphin is actually not playing chess. It's just jumping around a chessboard, and that is that is the best that it can do. All right, so I'm just going to add it as scene because uh, this I have added a lot of things on this timeline. I don't want to add more. So I'm just going to add it as scene with another dedicated. I don't know why this download happened. This is another irritating thing, right? I'm, I'm using an online video editor and I'm adding scene from the video editor, but things are getting downloaded in my PC and bulking it up. Well, that's another cons of this thing. But despite all of these benefits it's providing, I guess that thing can be overlooked. Okay, so AI image generator is working fine. Now let's see what branding does. Input branding text. So I'm gonna input branding text. We're talking about apples, right? So let's go ahead. Size, opacity, position on the top left. Uh, bottom. All right, so here is the branding text. Oh, so that is the branding text. Okay, so after that, we are gonna uh, click on back. And the branding text is there. It's just a hologram, like a watermark hologramming text. And then let's see what has GIF text. Okay, so we have a dolphin jumping here. Let's go ahead and type down dolphin. All right, there are lots of uh, beautiful, lovely, bouncy, wavy texts here. All right, this one has much colorful, it's much wavy. All right, so we have our text added to our image here. As you can see, you can now move the text, make it grow and a lot more. So now we're going to play it. Alright guys, so making our video is ready. Now we are going to click on download, export. So let's go ahead and export the video. Uh, maybe we can only export it in 720p. So 480p and 720p is available, but you can upgrade and export. So I can't export without upgrading. Why? Okay, so that's great. So if we want to export 1080p, we're going to have to be a plus member. And if we want to export 720p or 480p, we can just export with the a video for free with the Flix clip watermark. So we're going to take watermark and do it. As you can see, the entire video will take only one minute to export, which is really less because it's not draining any of the components of our computer. It's just being exported online. So let's say 619 and how much time it takes. So guys, after 20 long minutes, this video is at 99% export. And I don't know how long it will take to get to 100 so if you have a potato setup then don't expect that then don't expect that the exporting will be done without your pc hardware so if you have a potato setup it will use your computer's hardware so your exporting will take time don't think that your exporting will not take time it does not export online it takes your pc hardware in order to upload i mean in order to ex export but the downloading was instant i don't know how the downloading was instant maybe the the exporting process and downloading process was included so it could depend on your internet connection as well so make sure you have good hardware and good internet connection and the flex clip will work fine all right so why is this video not opening let's check out the video so untitled made with flex clip as you can see their hologram is here and my branding logo is here and the entire video oh man all right here we go my texts and here that we added the video clip here we added the picture here we added the element all right so after that we have added the YouTube uh, logo here and as you can see we have added the effect and the effect will look nice and a brighter color and then we have our picture dolphin I don't know why the picture got zoomed I didn't select any effect there all right, guys, so as you can see, it worked perfectly, and you can use Flex Clip to create videos like this, and 
then you can download it again if the download process didn't complete automatically as you can see I think the clip has been saved in our Google Chrome temp temporary storage so we're gonna go to continue download and we're gonna show you one more thing if you are making short video and you just want to make a gif then you should make a gif well gifs are not good usually more than 10 seconds so make sure to make a short video and then select gif and then you can select better quality 15 fps well gifs have a low fps or you can select custom quality and then go for 800 auto well this is the maximum output and you can select 15 fps is maximum then you can select export but i'm not gonna waste another uh, another 21 minute in order to export a gif so Make sure to uh, make a smaller video if you want GIF because no one wants to watch a GIF that is 1 minute 21 seconds. Because you know you can't play pause forward backward a GIF that's why no one is going to watch 1 minute and 21 seconds. So make sure your GIF video is short and then go to exports, go to GIF and select your size. Maybe better quality is the best output for GIF. So you can try exporting the GIF at 480 at 15 FPS. So guys, as you can see, FlexClip is offering us a lot with a lot of stock items. So guys, that wraps up our review of the FlexClip. It's an incredible tool for creating professional videos with ease. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced video creator, FlexClip has something to offer. Head over to the link down below in the description and give it a try. If you purchase FlexClip from the link down below, you will have 16 day money back guarantee. So if you purchase FlexClip and don't like it in two months, then don't worry, you can just return the application and get your money back. And if you found our video helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting reviews and tutorials. And if you think someone can be helped by watching this video, then please share this video with someone else, your friends or family. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.